Hi friends welcome back to Aisha's classroom today we are going to discuss 9th standard biology first chapter protectors of biosphere second part here is a good video i made for you today let's start green plants produce glucose through photosynthesis Glucose is easily soluble in water. It cannot be stored in plant body. Therefore, plants store glucose in the form of insoluble starch in leaves. Plants utilize starch as a source of energy for life activities and to prepare substances required for growth. Starch is later converted to sucrose and is transported through phloem to various plant buds and stored there in different forms. Starch in tubers, protein in legumes, fat in oil seed, fructose in fruits, sucrose in sugar cane are the examples. All producers on earth do not depend on sunlight. The sulfur bacteria seen on land and in water are example for this. They produce energy by breaking down chemical compounds. This process is called chemosynthesis. Do plants provide only food and oxygen? Most plant parts have economic importance in one way or the other. A variety of value added products are made from them. The processing and marketing of these resources open door to a wide range of job opportunities. Ocean is far more extensive than land. Ocean too has an amazing diversity in its ecosystem. Small organisms to the giant whales live there. About 70 to 80 percent of oxygen in the atmosphere is contributed by algae and phytoplankton present in the sea. The world of algae is diverse. Based on the quantity of the main pigment present in them, algae may be green, red, or brown in color. Algae are diverse in their size too, from microscopic size to meters long. Sargassum is a large brown algae. Phytoplankton found in oceans are free-floating microscopic organisms that perform photosynthesis. Desmids, golden algae and cyanobacteria are examples of phytoplankton. Plants serve as the cheapest, effective and natural means for the purification of air by absorbing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and releasing oxygen. Plants provide invaluable service to the living world. Mangrove forest help in controlling tsunami to some extent. Bamboo forest, tree, retriever, lemongrass, etc. protect the river bank from collapsing during flood. Trees and bushes in mountains and hills prevent soil erosion and landslide. Natural conservation should be become part and parcel of everyone's life. Nature should be used wisely and preserved for the generation to come. Green plants are the protectors of biosphere. Hence for the conservation of nature, nurturing of plants should be considered as one's prime responsibility. Like, 
if you understand my class and also comment your valuable suggestions in comment box thank you thanks for watching